if you're going to be offensive, make sure – if you're going to be offensive and on a, a, a public forum, check with five people that it's at least funny. <laughs> yeah, five, five's a good oh, number. This thing about black people is going to be hilarious. I don't think I need to check with anybody. <laughs> I got this. I just imagine like a panel of five people on a couch and you're just like <laughs> reading the tweet like the same way you just did and you just look at their faces. You see like four of them smirk and you you just look you look at that fifth one and you're like what was wrong with it? <laughs> what what could I do to make this to make this acceptable? Cuz I need an a, a uh, you know, unanimous five. You can say anything as long as it's has a point or is kind of funny if you if you come on stage grab the mic and your com comedy special starts with wouldn't raping someone be funny it's just like I, no it's like okay <laughs> rewind it a little bit <laughs> i i see where you're going and i'm rooting for you because i want you to make it but you're off to a bad start <laughs> like like basically all of sarah silverman's comedy at least when I saw that Jesus is Magic special, it's just like, bird, when a nigger baby dies, an angel gets its wings. It's just like, I, that's not funny. I, that's just something a racist person would say. Like, you can't just say something a racist. Ha there still has to be the parameters of an expectation and then a subversion of expectations. It, that, that's what comedy is. You can't just be racist thing and be like get it guys because racism like no no you're you just said something racist i'm sorry well, you still lose <laughs> what movie are you talking about again um uh sarah silverman had this comedy special that me and my family watched one time because you know we saw her on crank acres we thought she was really funny on crank acres so oh, we're like no well, let, well let's check out her comedy special jesus is magic you are like that's kind of an odd name but whatever <laughs> We watched it, dude. Not even the people in the audience really laughed that hard. Oh. Like you could hear the pity laughiness. You know, where it's just like, uh, well, we already paid our money. We might as well at least pretend like we're having fun. You know. <laughs> Fucking uh, Justin Bieber and his tapes from like four years ago. Oh, yeah. See, uh, that's actually uh, one of the things I was thinking about. Like I, when I saw that tape at first, I was like, man, fuck it. The... And then I was, I was thinking about it, like, you know, the way it looks. And, and what was he like? Twelve. He was like fifteen. Oh wow! Fuck really? And, okay. and and like everyone in the video seemed to think he was really funny, so he felt comfortable enough to say that, you know? Yeah. But but see what? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, it's like, excuse me. What I'm saying is, it's like, he probably thought I, I've hung around like you know white kids who thought who would do something like that and think it's funny, and of course if we had maybe if we were friends for a while and. You know, well, he might not say something like that because it's not fucking funny, but, mm -hmm. you know, like, if we had friends around and we were just, like, fucking around and making jokes, like, oh, I make jokes about white people, ah, I make jokes about black people, blah, 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 blah. you know? But when that's on video, first of all, it's, yeah, that wasn't fucking funny. I'm trying to remember what he said. It was just like, um, well, I hope to kill a black person. What, what, what did he say? Uh, he sang the song One Less Lonely Girl. Oh, one but, less lonely nigger or something like that? Yeah. Well, it was like, then I'll join the KKK. Yeah. Or whatever. He, he wrote a parody song about one of his own songs, which is really self-centered. But, <laughs> but, but see, the, the way I kind of like saw it was just like, it just looks like someone who heard people say nigger and whatever. And you know how like when you're a kid, you don't really understand how serious shit is. So you're just like joking around and you do that. And then, like, you know, someone comes in and goes, like, what the fuck were you just singing? And you go, like, uh, and then you're, like, dude, that's not fucking okay. It's like, you know dude, what I, I mean? honestly like, have no like idea those... what I was just saying. Yeah, it looks like one of those things where someone needed to sit in the fuck down and be, like, dude, that's not funny and that really needs me. Like, I doubt he's a fucking card-carrying oh, member of no. the KKK. No, of, of course not. KKK, no. But and... it's offensive and sounds funny. He, he, he. You know, like... Justin Bieber, you know, singing a parody song of one of his own songs or telling that joke about the, I think it was a, a, a chainsaw, that, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. See, well, here's the thing. I heard that joke 10 years ago from one of my friends. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, Justin Bieber comes up with this terribly racist joke. No. Yeah, he, he, yeah he wrote it himself. 
<laughs> Dude doesn't write his own songs. He's not going to write his own racist <laughs> joke. You know, so it's like, I remember hearing that joke from, you know, my white friends when I was in grade school, like, ten years ago, and being like, well, yeah, he's my friend. I'm not offended by this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, if you were his friend, you'd be like, I'm not offended by this. But out of the context of being like, well, I know this guy, and we're just fucking around, you know, it's just like, well, no, that's a terrible thing to just say, because that's what people who are actually really insensitive and don't care about, you know, people of other races, that's what they say, too. Yeah. So outside of a context, that is just a bad thing to fucking say. Uh, I remember even... I can't it. believe I'm fucking defending Justin Bieber right now. I know. Justin Bieber and Iggy Azalea. Fuck, man. It is a weird show. We got off on a weird foot, I guess. It's, it's a new year. It's a new bizarre year. Donald Sterling, hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> hold up. Now, uh, uh, he said, I remember someone made a joke. They're like, actually, what he said wasn't even that bad when you think about it. He was like, you can hang out with black people. You can have sex with black people. He says to his fucking wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you can have sex with black people, just don't post it on Instagram. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Listen to the calls. That's what he fucking said. <laughs> wow. It's like, that's actually quite open-minded. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, not many people would say that. <laughs> it's like... It is uh, well uh, now. Now, if you go now, if we go back into the actual uh, the housing equalities that he was doing, that's some fucked up racist shit. Let's talk about that. That's public record. Uh, but if you're talking about a, a private phone call he had that was recorded and released like illegally, mind you, like yeah. <laughs> you know, like the, the the all these things are like breaches of privacy. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's funny we 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 think about that when we talk about like um. What was it, the NSA? Oh, they they might be recording us. We were like, no, we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. But then when someone that we're kind of okay with not liking, they their stuff gets leaked, it's like, oh, oh well, look at how terrible they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. What if in the future they're like, you know, uh, they go like, well, we're actually recording everything that everyone doesn't say. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do that. And then they go like, oh, well, uh, it's obvious that uh, if we release a leaked thing of you doing something terrible, that everyone will be okay with your shit getting leaked. So you do you want us to release your le- <laughs> shit? You know what I mean? Like, think about that. Because mm-hmm. we've all said something terrible. Oh, God, but, yeah. At, at, whether or not, uh, at the end of the day, we, we took it back or we realized later on that maybe that was a bad thing to say, we've all said something terrible. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's kind of whack to gang up on someone... Just because they're popular and say something terrible. Unless it's in a song that was meant for mass consumption, then it's like, oh, fuck you for putting that out. But at the same time, when you're with people and, you know, you grew up where something is taboo, well, I'm an adult. I, I want to say that taboo thing now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean... Like, we, we... how many white people say nigga? Like, come on. I know they do. You know? <laughs> you know? Be, and it's not because... Most people, it's not because they're honestly hateful people, but no. it's because... I was told all my life not to say it, and this song is on it, and I just said it. <laughs> you know, it's not like, I will fulfill all the hatred yeah. of the black man. Zeke Heil. No, it's just like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? What, 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 That's what I got from when I saw that video. I got, uh, I got, <laughs> I just said the N-word. <laughs> Get it? Basically, you know what I mean? yeah. Like, it was saying it because it was outrageous. Yeah. You it's know? not like, like, yeah, he's saying it because it's ridiculous. Yeah. Now, I mean, uh, Mel Gibson didn't say what he said because it was ridiculous. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> he, he was literally hoping for that. <laughs> um, but Once again, you can judge the way you want to interact with this person when you meet him based off of that. Because he could be like, you know, personally, you could be like, well, I ain't fucking with that no more. <laughs> but at the same time, you know... It, it comes down to, well, who is who leaked this, and that's not right, and that person should have to do the full extent of the law and all that crap, in the same vein that you would do with Jennifer Lawrence's nudes or Scarlett Johansson's nudes, you know. Yeah. I didn't see I didn't look up. I, no. I get... No, I, I did not, because that, that... Although, I kind of feel like a hypocrite for watching the Justin Bieber video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, but I'm like, oh, man, now I kind of feel like a douche for... <laughs> yeah, it... You know, you respect one person's privacy, you know... It really is a double-edged sword. It's like, nudes, 
take it. Well, no, no, because the nudes were released without that person's consent. But the Justin Bieber stuff was out there, and I'm pretty sure they knew of it because they knew they were being recorded. But the nudes, they knew they well, were. Well, the no, 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 no. T- oh God, they I don't know. Be recorded, but that doesn't mean they. It, it, it's not like it was on YouTube this whole time, you know. Ugh, yeah, you're right. It is a double standard. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're bad people. God damn it, we're we're we're, <laughs> we're no better, I guess. <laughs> we're contributing to being invasive in people's lives. No. What I was gonna say though was, uh, while well, research. I'm saying all of this to cover my ass. Yeah. So that my porn stash gets leaked. <laughs> <laughs> I can be like, hey, but I already said you have to be cool about it. Everyone's gonna be cool and accepting by that point. <laughs> so when my when my dick pics leak. <laughs> <laughs> when a picture of me showing my boobs gets out there, you know. <laughs> then it's going to be okay. 